Yo, what is going on everybody? My name is Connor, but you guys can call me Superior. And today, I wanted to kind of discuss a little bit about the Advanced Warfare multiplayer because here in the past two to three days, we've really seen um, an abundance of information come out about it. And previously, we didn't really know anything about the game except for single player, but, you know, let's let's be honest. What everyone's excited for about Advanced Warfare is the multiplayer. And, um, and some of the gameplay that we saw from all the bigger YouTubers that they put out, a lot of it kind of showcased or what I noticed the most of was like the double jumps and like the dashing and just how like fast paced the game looked and you know this was you know this had some upsides to it because this is really gonna um kind of promote rushing and that kind of style of gameplay rather than like camping and sitting in corners and something that someone brought up in my live stream was hey superior how are you gonna spawn trap when everyone can just uh double jump and dash and everything out of your way so you can't kill them and uh, that was a really good point and you know just that not only does that have to do with spawn trap but it has to do with everything like let's say I'm getting shot at from behind all I gotta do is tap A twice and fly up into the air and you know be perfectly fine or you know dash off to the side or dash to the front or whatever and just get out of harm's way instantly so um, you know and, and the only way I could think of to counter that was that the health would have to be extremely low and um, that's not something you can you know completely judge unless you know you've actually played the game so um, it looks awesome it looks like uh, they added a bunch of new game modes like that Quidditch game mode um, they brought hardpoint back and all these other awesome like COD favorite game modes are gonna be coming back and there's also um, things like uh, I forgot like loot packs where you can buy like different camos and just there's like 350 different camos in all these different categories and just all this awesome stuff that has gotten me absolutely pumped for the next Call of Duty, which is Advanced Warfare. And, uh, you know, hopefully I'll be able to get it a few weeks early so I can start, you know, getting content ready for release date. But, uh, you know, I'm pumped for this Call of Duty. I thought the release trailers looked awesome. I thought all the gameplay we got to see, um, you know, looked awesome. It definitely did. I thought, to be honest, when I was first watching, I thought I was watching Titanfall. Everything looked exactly like Titanfall. Everyone moved just like Titanfall. The gun movements are so much different from anything we've seen in Ghosts, anything we've seen in the Modern Warfare series, the Black Ops series, or anything. It looks like Advanced Warfare will be its own Call of Duty. You know, so many people have been complaining for so many years now that it's the same Call of Duty put out year after year, just with different guns and names and camels and stuff like that. But it looks like this year, you know, we're truly getting a new Call of Duty, which kind of kind of scares me to be honest because you know I've been playing Call of Duty since Modern for 2 so that's I don't know like five or six years now and if my math is right but you know all that time is spent like learning the game learning how to play it learning how Call of Duty works and I just hope that when Advanced Warfare comes out it won't feel like trying to learn an entire new game and getting good at an entire new game hopefully you know the skills kind of kind of transfer over I guess is kind of what I'm getting at because I don't want all these years of Call of Duty experience kind of good on the toilet um, hopefully my map knowledge and or not my map knowledge but like I don't know the same general tips will apply scuffs will still be useful hopefully uh, panic knives will still be a thing I don't know so um, you know I'm excited we're getting an entirely new game but at the same time um, I don't know I have a few worries that go along with that but hopefully Hopefully Sledgehammer, since this is a new company that has yet to make Call of Duty minus the Monitor 3 campaign, will really listen to the community, really go along with everything that we want and put in everything that we want. Um, and if they do that, I, you know, not a doubt in my mind, this will be a great Call of Duty and everyone will love it. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Drop a comment down below letting me know what you guys are most excited for in this next Call of Duty because there's so much that I'm excited to see, but so much I'm scared about also at the same time. So, thank you for watching this video, everyone. Do leave a like if you guys did enjoy. Have a fantastic day. I am out.